the last time we talked about healthy cooking, there was two primary ingredients that you use for any healthy meal. Does anybody know what they would be? Protein, yes, yeah, so you were here. <laughs> protein and vegetables, right? Protein and vegetables are like the two major food ingredients that you need to have a healthy diet, and you should have them at every meal, and a lot of times we don't. So I'm going to prepare for you three meals in about 50 minutes, one five minute, one 10 minute, one 20 minute. I'm going to take my onion, and I'm just going to chop a little bit of it. So I'm going to take a second. Got just sort of a part of an onion here, which kind of most of you have in your refrigerator. And I'm just going to chop it very simply and throw it in my saute pan. Here a little sizzle there. Then I'm going to make, take uh, some tomatoes. And I'm using just great tomatoes, very simple. They last kind of a long time. You can kind of use them one at a time. They're usually always sweet uh, and in season. So I kind of keep them on hand. And I'm just going to kind of quarter them. Not too many. And when I finish that, I'm going to add my spinach. And you've got yourself a five-minute meal, um, like really, really cheap, very easy. And it's very tasty. I mean, it's not like, you know, to die for. But let me tell you, after a long day, you make this. You're in your sweats. You're in your home. You're comfortable. And you sit down. It's like, I'm telling you, you go, oh, God, this is good. <laughs> okay? Now, a lot of people, you know, they, they don't like to, to cut with with uh, vegetables in case it's too complicated. But really, it's very, very simple. You don't need food processors and mandolins and all that. All you need is a really good knife. And a lot of people don't. They tend to have knives like this in their, in their drawer, you know, and it's 20 years old, it's never been sharpened, and it doesn't cut anything. And so, of course, it's very awkward. But if you've got a nice, good knife, this is a Sanduco knife, um, and they chop really easy. Hold on a second, let me turn my little chicken over. Don't want it to burn. But anyway, these knives are really easy. And what you can do is you just kind of put the, the tip down and you can just chop really fast. And you know what? Chopping is very therapeutic. When you're stressed out, you come home again, you're in your sweat, maybe a little glass of wine, and you can just chop away. And it's just very nice. It's just really fun to do. You just got to take a couple times to get the hang of it. And you know the difference between lean and fatty is the white stuff. Right? If, if meat doesn't have a lot of white stuff in it, um, then it's usually, uh, if protein doesn't have a lot of white stuff in it, it's usually lean. So there was actually some white stuff on the end. I just trimmed it off. Okay? But in, inside of it, it's, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty lean. So that's my pork. And um, I'm going to add to that, actually, sweet potato. And I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to use sweet potato because I'm going to do this in 20 minutes. Okay? But we're going to add sweet potato because that's kind of a really yummy, savory thing. Um, then I'm going to add uh, some pepper. We'll add a red pepper. Okay, give it some color and also some good nutrients. And um, a little bit of onion, if I can find my onion. There it is. And I think we're good to go. Oh, and I'm going to add some craisins. All right. Now, you can also add like apples or any other kind of um, you know, raisins or things like that. But I'm just going to throw the craisins in to make it simple. Okay, so now while that's sauteing, I am going to do my potato. Now, I'm going to use a very complex utensil here, a potato peeler. <laughs> and I know everybody says, oh my gosh, i got to peel a potato? That's so hard. Well, it isn't. It isn't. But we just think it is. So what I want you guys to do is count with me how long it takes me to peel this sweet potato. Okay? So, are you ready? Okay. One, two, come on guys. Three, four, five. Six, okay, I'm throwing them across the room. <laughs> but nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I'll uh, finish it up, 18, 19, 20, okay, 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, so 20 seconds out of your life to have a sweet potato. That wasn't too bad, was it? Although it did make a mess. This is what I brought. I know you guys out there can't see this very well, but at the Super Bowl, I bring this to all my parties when you want to bring something. This is a roasted vegetable tray. It's got roasted asparagus, roasted peppers, eggplant, some artichokes, some roasted tomatoes, and a little bit of hard cheese and mozzarella cheese. Serve it with a little baguette. Let me tell you something. 
People were going crazy over it. You know, forget the, I mean, yeah, they're eating the wings and all that, but people really love it. I think Americans are crazy vegetables, but they just don't think about it, you know? So this is wonderful, and all you guys get to try this, so uh, you're the lucky ones. But um, anyway, point being is that that's all the roasting process. With the asparagus, you know, I do, I spray Pam on it and roast it. Oh, so fabulous, fabulous. I, I just want to get you guys confidence and to understand that it is easy and don't be afraid of it. Just get in the kitchen and try it. And it really can be fun. And I think you will, if you start, you will find, like me, that it can be easier, less stressful, tasty. And it's really about making the decision and just getting in the habit of doing it. Um, and it's really that simple. <coughs> so anyway, we're done. You guys get to try things out. Um, and I can take any questions. Did you want to have some questions?